What's up guys, Sweet Lou here, back with another install. Today we're gonna see if we can change this seat. We have the Sundowner seat and then the Sundowner passenger pillion. And then we also do have the tank bag. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this opened up. Let's get it. All right guys, here's box number one. Here's the actual seat. Damn, that is nice. Okay, it comes with the... That's basically it. It's just take off and install and that's it. It does feel a little thicker, but we'll go ahead and compare. Box number two. Here is the, the rear piece. Oh wow, that's actually pretty nice. I like it. I might I might end up wrapping that. But looks pretty good. There's the passenger pillion. Boom. A little thin on the bottom. Last but not least. Tail bag. Oh, that is beautiful. That looks so nice. As you can tell, it's a little windy here, so hopefully I can install all of this fairly easily. Let's get to it. So here are the two pieces side by side. Um, this one's fairly larger than this one. Oh, um, I do have have been having a problem with the. Um, staples on this one um, it is a warranty claim so they're helping me out at Bartels um, hopefully I don't have the same problem with this one but it is quite a bit bigger if you can tell it's definitely gonna be more comfortable Ooh, it's windy today I think it might start to rain let's go ahead and get this installed yeah all right guys first thing we're gonna have to do is take the seat off I was having some problems with the tank, but sometimes it's a little difficult. I always pull and then cut and then pull out, pull down and then out, and I should pop right off. So one of the problems that I was having was that this staple and this staple were eating into the uh, paint and the tank. So hopefully I don't get that anymore with this. The seat is a simple install and uninstall. I mean, uh, uninstall and install. So let's go ahead and do the back piece also. So I'll take this off. You're gonna need to take off four T27 bolts. So there are actually T25 bolts. And you can take all four off without worrying if it's going to fall because they are attached with another piece, with another uh, piece in there. You just pop it off. And then four. They are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about which one goes where. Unless you're, unless you're a stickler for that stuff, of course. Last one just pops off. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this grommet, and then with the supplied bolts that they have, two of them, the thicker ones, they're gonna go on each side, and uh, put on that, to put on that back piece. So let's get that done. Very easy to remove, just push down from under, pops right off. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the side pieces. <laughs> okay. 
Now go ahead and tighten those to spec and we can continue. Go ahead and remove this bolt right here. Add one of the washers that they gave to you. Put it straight through the strap, like so. And tighten. If you do have thread locker, go ahead and put some thread locker on there before you install the screw. I unfortunately do not have any thread, thread locker, but that's fine with me. Now we can go ahead and install the seat. It goes straight in, and then on the back you will see three bolts. One, two, three. That's where the three of them go. The three added bolts that they gave you, that's where they go. Um, the one with the two washers, the two smaller washers go on the outside, and the big washer goes on the inside. The spacer that you have goes on the inside of the rear. So it goes just like this. There's a little Harley Davidson emblem and that's gonna face the back. There it is. So when you're putting on this one, just find the bigger the one with the bigger washer first and then the other two that took me way longer than i thought it would now for the seat just slides on Let's see if i can get it there's the install guys it looks absolutely phenomenal i'll do the tank back another day um i'll definitely have it up if you guys like content like this Go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, I'll keep doing videos like this. Hopefully we get some uh, more bikes, different bikes and some more bites to eat. Once again, this is Sweet Lou. Have a good one.